families. So this is Mrs. Rodriguez, kindergarten, room eight, Cabrillo School. This is the materials video for October 26th through October 30th. All right, so there's a lot of things going on this week. Number one, we have Red Ribbon Week. I've got a couple of videos to talk about the families about Red Ribbon Week. Red Ribbon is called um, Say No to Drugs, but kindergartners have a different idea of what that means. Most of all, we're going to talk about health, taking care of our bodies, and when to use medicine, what is okay for the kids to use medicine, and when not to use medicine. So that's basically the, the main idea of what um, we're going to be talking about when it's okay for them to touch things in the medicine cabinet, any of these things, okay? So that's what we're going to focus on. Also, we have still testing this week. Um, I'm, I'm adding the schedule onto our lesson plans. And on Friday, so this week the kids have to wear a red wristband the whole week. So remind them to wear it the whole week and I'll give them extra dojo points on Friday for wearing it the whole week. Um, on Friday, the kids are welcome to wear their costumes, making sure that they can still see through them, they can participate, we'll try to have fun all morning um, on Friday. Um, no gory costumes, no blood, things that are scary or gory, okay? Um, and let's talk about the supplies. So we're now almost always using our My Math book. Um, once a week, we're going to use our Handwriting Without Tears. We're using our packets that say, um, this one says Language Arts Support Activities Week 2. And it's called Week 2 because we sent four weeks of, of work this last pickup. So last week was week one. This is week two. That's what we're calling it week two. Um, and then also our common core math practice week two, as in one, two. Next week will be week three. And things I like book. That's our writing book for the week. Wonders Unit 2, Week 2. That one goes along with this, that's the Krabby Crab. That's our reading series. So in the reading series, we, it goes, it was Smart Start Week 1, 2, and 3. Then Unit 1, Week 1, 2, and 3. Now we're on Unit 2, then it'll be Week 1, Week 2, Week 3. And so when you're looking for the little book that you need to tear out, like this one, what you do is you're like, oh, we're in unit two, week two. So then you look in here and you're like, oh, unit one, unit two, week one. No, that's not it. Unit two, week two. Okay. So in here, bam, you're going to find we like, okay? And I'm going to start trying to type out um, what page it comes after. And I did type that it says it comes after page 62 because some of the parents are like, I don't know what page number. Well, the little book is independent, so it doesn't have an actual page number. It says page one, two, three, and four because once you fold it, it has its own little page. So we're going to need our Krabby Crab book, our Wonders book, um, our whiteboard, and markers our name practice sheets, our number writing, that one not so much, but definitely our 10 frames one, our counting collections, we're gonna need a new collection also, and our numbers chart. And now I'm gonna talk about some of the um, art projects I think these art projects are going to be pretty independent. So if you guys kind of help them out, this one says 
my favorite thing to do in fall is, and then you can talk to them about what fall things are like. Um, going out to the pumpkin patch and carving out a pumpkin, going trick-or-treating, um, having a fire at the, like a bonfire or something like that, drinking um, hot cider, having Thanksgiving, um, and then they draw a picture about it and color it and maybe put it on the window. Um, they can also do this um, colors practice where they read the word color. And then there's this one where they're gonna look at fall leaves and they look at different leaves and how they kind of look. Some, and they do a graph about it, smooth edged or toothed. Some that look like hands, some that look like needles. So they'll cut, cut, cut paste, 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 depending on how the leaf looks. And then we've got our fall bear that I get to see in the background when we're zooming. I saw like one behind Isabella. I saw one behind Kaylee Douglas. I can see some of them in the background. They look cool. All right, I think that's all we need. Um, I'm going to need a family picture now. That one I'm not going to post like on our, our class dojo story because for privacy reasons, I don't want to put all your family um, on there. Um, but I will use it in class so that their, your child can look at the picture. I'll share it and then they can talk to us about their family. Um, we're going to be learning about the word immediate family and extended family. So you can send us pictures of the immediate and the extended, like grandmas, grandpas, uncles, um, step family, any, anyone who, um, who is taking care of them, who lives at home, their pets. Um, make it, even if you have to do like a family selfie, that's okay. I want something that they can feel that they can represent their family, okay? So email that to me. And then if you have any other questions, every day this week, there's something different to do for Red Ribbon. Monday is wear red. Monday is wear red. I'll send another reminder, okay? All right. And then the next day, all the other ones are kind of um, easy, but you just look at the lesson plans is bring a stuffed animal, wear a crazy hat on Wednesday, wear your favorite team clothes on Thursday. And then on Friday, you can wear red again or you can wear your costume. All right, thank you so much. Have a great week, bye.